Hey all viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist and welcome back to Tracks the Train Set Game. This is the fifth episode that I'm doing now. So, remember of course last episode I actually started this brand new map. This actually has a name now, I've given it a proper name, it's called Pretty System. That's what we're going to call it, because you know, I want to create something nice and good looking. Now also, um, incidentally, I have managed to move that train up onto the tracks. I remember, you hold down T instead of pressing T and it brings up a slightly different menu. But you know, we've got our train station set up. This little car park, buses in place, taxi there, and various cars and vans that uh, people have left, sort of parked around. Of course, the, um, there's roads now in the game, and I think I'm just going to do something here. I'm just going to decrease icon size, because the thing is, previously, you know, whenever I've been trying to go through here, I've been having to sort of scroll through the different menus. It's actually kind of easier, I think, just to put them down to this size so I can see most of them. Now, I kind of want to um, just retest the roads again. So I feel like maybe we could get... Mm, it's, a, it's a strange old thing. It's funny how it works. I'm not entirely sure how it's meant to kind of do that, but... Mm, I really wanted it to be able to, you know, just kind of go into there, but... Having said that, I don't know if that's going to happen. Well, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to kind of put them... Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, no, I wanted to highlight that and get rid of it, not get rid of the grass block, thanks. Alright, let's replace that in. So, so easy to delete things without meaning to. That always happens, doesn't it? Okay, so, we've been uh, progressively putting these, you know, putting these various things down. One thing we did kind of find, obviously, in the last episode is that the roads can be a tad janky, you know because they don't seem to quite work with the grid subdivisions, things like that. I mean, it's not too much of a problem. We can just put it like that instead and just have kind of like a weird sort of turn off where they have to drive over the grass. But, never mind. Unless there's anything we can put down to kind of cover that grass, but I'm not sure there really is, is there? That's the only thing. I don't really see anything. That, you know, I mean, it'd be good if maybe there was... You know what, maybe the game, the game devs do perhaps need to actually put in? Maybe what they need to add are sort of tile sets that you can put down. So obviously you've got these big blocks that you can put down, which you can then put stuff on top of. But what about like little texture tile sets? Like maybe kind of like a sort of tarmac -y asphalt kind of tile set or cobblestones or um, maybe kind of big paving flags or something like that. That might be something for them to look into doing at some point. Okay, so we're going to continue building. Now, here's the thing. We've got all these new buildings we could use, like, for example, the apartment block, the skyscraper, maybe. How big are these? Ooh, okay, that's pretty big. That is actually pretty darn huge, isn't it? Okay, so it's got kind of windows on three sides. The rear of it is kind of... Um, a bit blank. That's the only thing. What about the skyscraper? That also is quite huge as well. Okay. Hey, it looks interesting. Don't get me wrong. Hmm. So we need to use, obviously, grid subdivisions there to actually um, get it as close to the road as possible. You see, what I'm, um, I'm perhaps thinking about here is making a kind of, um, like a town square opposite the train station. Like a nice sort of grassy square area, you know what I mean? Because that sounds like it would probably uh, do nicely, wouldn't it? Let me just um, get rid of that a second. Maybe put some more grassy blocks down, actually. Okay, so let's just do that. Put one there on that side, and then one there on this side as well. So it looks good. And we'll just quickly put some down like this too. So it's got a nice, sizable area. So I think we'll make this kind of like a sort of pretty looking urban environment in this part. So just put some more road pieces down like so. Just to kind of, you know, give it some extra welly. There we go. So put that like that. That's looking good. Right, so let's start building our kind of um, town square sort of thing opposite the old train station. Now, that kind of lines up, I was going to say lines up, it's kind of on the path, which I don't really want. I can increase grid subdivisions. What if I go to 50%? 25%? 
Hold up, hold it, hold up. Yeah, maybe there? What do you reckon? I think that looks good there. Then we pull that across and let's just mirror it on this side. Hold on. Get it. Right, oh god. Urgh. Like that, that, there. Okay, good. Then, um, if I put them back to 100%, will it kind of line up now? No, it won't, will it? What am I doing? I need to put it back to 25. Just put it like this, I think. Let's just uh, do those on those sides, like so. So, how are you guys uh, watching this? How are you all doing out there? Hope you're uh, enjoying the series. It's definitely a remarkable little game, this. So hang on, let me just work this out. That'll be eight pieces. So what about like an eight by eight grid? What do you reckon? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, pull that there, like that. So that's two. Three. Four. Yep. Yeah, five. Six. Seven. And... Eight. Right, um, all that means is we are going to need to put some more grassy blocks in. Hold on, let me just uh, decrease back to 100. Get to my grassy blocks. Like so. Wait for it. Uh, one there. Because it is going to be quite a big square, this is. Which, you know, isn't going to be a bad thing. Sometimes you want something nice and sizable, don't you? Right, let's 25% um, it. Right, let's get our um, wall back again. Here we are. Uh, maybe I should... Hmm, maybe I should have actually have... Um, no, I was, I was thinking maybe I should have 4x4 four four kind of entrances. But... 4x4 um, four four entrances? Four entrances to the park, that is. But no, I think I'll just have maybe two of them. One that's sort of, that's sort of opposite ends. Because that sounds like it might be better. I don't know. Four. Five. Six. Oh, oh, hold on. Seven. And eight. Like so. Let's get it lined up. Oh, careful. One. Two. And three. Right, let's just rotate that round. Put that there like that so it's, yeah, kind of lined up. Nice. Okay, let me do the same on this side. One. Oh, two. Hold it. Oh, no, that's um, that's in the wrong place. Get rid of that. Let me just uh, get my wall out again. Oh, okay. come on, come on, come on. God, for a second I thought it wasn't lining up again for a second then. That's very strange. Don't know why it would do that, if anything, but uh, who knows. Right, there we go. Right. Yeah, that's lined up um, perfectly. Okay, so that is going to be the kind of central park of the town. I'm going to decorate that up nicely. I'm thinking what we'll probably do is um, maybe have a clock tower definitely in the middle of it. So that'll probably look best, won't it? The clock tower is no longer the uh, biggest building in the game, though. That's the only thing. So it's uh, going to look... It's going to be kind of interesting, I do think. All right, so that's there, like that. Hold on, I'm just thinking... Let's just put one there for the moment. We're not actually going to keep that there. And the reason I've just put that there is to try and sort of line up the kind of midsection. So I've got an idea so I can sort of... Um, uh, hold on a minute. Uh, we need to, I think, decrease grid subdivisions a little further. There we go. Okay, right. So now we've got those there. We can sort of line it up. Is that about right there? Do you think? Or is it there? Um, hold on, let's just put it there for the moment. Is that aligned? I think that's aligned. I think. Is it? I'm not sure. Um, hold on, if I zoom in a bit. I mean, it looks okay to me. So... Oh, oh god, no. Hold on, if we go directly above them... Yeah, I think they're 
roughly the right position. So let's get rid of that one, let's get rid of that one. It's probably a little off-center, but you know what? Screw it, I don't care if it is. It's fine. Um, right, let's just put the subdivisions back to 25%. Actually, let's just put them back to 100% for now and just see how we go. So we're going to want trees and all kinds of stuff in here, I think. Get some nice bushy trees to decorate this place. So put uh, maybe a bushy tree at each corner, do you reckon? Because that'll probably look nice, won't it? Now, will this one go in the corner? Ah, not quite, so we're going to need to decrease the old subdivisions again. Okay. Hold on, let me just look at that there. Yeah, right, hold on. Just doing a comparison there, everybody. Let's put that one there. Uh, that one, uh, ooh, eat at, oof. It's not quite aligned with that one, is it? But, hmm, screw it. Put it in there. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if it's perfectly symmetrical or not. You know, a bit of asymmetry can sometimes lend, uh, lend things a bit of character, you know. Sometimes that's what just, it's just what you want, really. Uh, let me just um, increase the grid subdivisions again. Maybe put a uh, tree there. Like so, and one perhaps on this side as well, sort of in front of that post. Yeah, it's, it's coming together kind of nicely. Right. Oh, I could do. Ugh, I do want to put down a few more of them though. That's the only thing. Um, let's see now. So done. Kind of halfway on each. Uh, maybe have some flanking trees actually at the entrance, uh, entrance? no actually no let's not do that because I want to put lamp posts on that's what I want to do now that I think about it uh, maybe we could put mm, no, no no not around the uh, the old clock tower we don't want to do that uh, let's do the lamp posts because we can all right so let me just uh, right, that's it obviously for the corner pieces because the trees are kind of overhanging them we won't put um, no, no, we won't put ones on the corners. We'll just keep them on the sort of side ones, like so. Ah, oh, let's get that detailing in there. That's kind of overlapped a bit, so we won't put one there. Maybe we should put should have put the lamp post in first rather than the trees. But having said that, I don't mind. I don't think it matters. People are probably going to spurge out a little bit over it, but I don't care. Be fine. It's my design. I don't care. Here we go. Ah, it's a good way to start today's recording session, this, with an episode of Tracks. Since it is such a relaxing game. I, I mean, I say that pretty much in every episode. People are probably begging me to say something different for a change, but... Yes. The thing about this game is, though, I feel like I... Oh, God, I've just deleted my lamppost. What am I doing? No, not that one. I don't want that one. I want this one. Okay, hold it. Oh, why is it not... Get, get in there. There we are. Okay, get rid of that. Right, so lamppost in, trees are in. Maybe what we could also add is a nice big fountain. Some benches and picnic tables. That could definitely work, couldn't it? Okay, what about some, if we put some benches in? Maybe around the base of the clock tower? What do you reckon? That could look, look nice, couldn't it? Can we sort of slip them in to that? Yes! Just in front of the doors, like this. I see, that works. Like so. Put one there, that's... is that kind of overlapping a bit? Might just be me, actually. Uh, put one there. And one in there, see? So now I've got a nice looking uh, area where people can sit around the middle of the uh, the old clock tower. It's good. So we've got these tables as well. I don't think I'll put the, any of these ones in the park, the blue or red tables. I think I'll stick to the picnic tables. Uh, fountain, right. Actually, mm, should I put some hedges round? Maybe some hedges kind of like between the trees. Could work. If we do it like this. Hold it. Oh. But let's just experiment and see how this goes. Uh yeah. It's it's not quite symmetrical, but it'll do. I'm happy with it. So let's put one there. These big sort of baguette-like hedges. Yeah, we could put one along there. It just adds a bit of greenery. It just makes, you know, an otherwise very uniform looking uh, looking area just a bit nicer to look at, you know. Alright, let's put one hedge down on this side as well. Because, you know, if you want uh, people to enjoy living in these urban areas, you want to make them nice. 
I know that's not a very red thing to say, considering I am, well, I have my usual sort of evil persona online of General Red and all that, but you know what, for this game, we're being mellow, we're being nice. Right, so hedges down the, hedges down the edges, like so, and then I'm going to put in, right, the picnic tables maybe, or maybe the fountains actually first, and we'll get these nice big ones, and maybe have fountains towards each corner, do you think? Or maybe like this, kind of um, in front of each. Hold on, hold on. Let me. What if we could get that sort of aligned, perfectly on top of that sort of seam there, and then just take it one over, like that. Yeah. So let's put a fountain there. Let's get another one. So it looks lovely, doesn't it? Oh, get it all back up again. And then one over. Yeah. Two fountains in the park. I think that's good. Or maybe we should put more. Oof, we could do, couldn't we? So much choice here. Um, let's do that. Let's um, get some additional fountains in. Like so. That's not quite lined up, is it? No. Hold on. Let me just increase grid subdivisions again. Right, let, oh, God. Careful. Careful he does it. And another one over, or two, like that. Nice. So you're getting all this just lined up nicely. So one over, two over, there we go. Ah, oh, yes. That looks gorgeous, doesn't it? But it's not finished yet. We've not, we're not done with it. There's still more to actually do. Put that back to 25%. Then maybe sprinkle some picnic tables around, I think. So you know, our uh, folks, in the, uh, folks in the old park got places to sit down. We should also um, increase rotation increments a little bit, down to 30% maybe. Oh, careful. Uh, so we can maybe just sprinkle things around a bit to make it look a bit... because uh, everything's kind of at right angles with the exception of the buses. Well, actually, no, you know, if, if not right angles, yeah, right angles, no, 90 degree angles is what I'm trying to say. Everything's at 90 degree angles except the buses there. So let's just kind of get some variation going here and have maybe some uh, kind of picnic tables and things which are sprinkled down at different angles. Just to, you know, like I say, add a bit of variation, a bit of variety, because everyone loves a bit of variety and all that. Uh, yeah, like that. So we're just going to sprinkle these down in any old order. We're not going to kind of go for symmetry with these picnic tables. We're just going to throw them around as we do. So I think one there, that'll be nice. And maybe one over there. One in the middle, one down there. So maybe have yeah about five picnic tables in each, you know towards each corner. So it's a nice little uh, park area. People can come, they can sit around, have a lunch, things like that. It'll be just gorgeous overall, you know. Got to keep the old uh, morale of the people up and all that. Uh, let's put that there. Uh, put that one there. There we are. On there. On there. One there, one in the middle, one there. There we go. Right, so that, ladies and gents, is our park. And I think it looks pretty nice. So, you know, visitors to the town coming by rail, they come in, they come out the station, you know, through the station car park, and then the first thing they see is that nice little uh, town square over there. It'll be very, very lovely. I wonder if we could put down a road on the other side of it, maybe. That could probably work just nicely, couldn't it? Let's just see if we can get it in there. Um, if I can move across, please. Um, ooh, that's going to be quite far off. Unless I can decrease grid subdivisions back to 100. Uh, da -da -da. Increase into 50. The roads really are kind of janky, though, aren't they? It's like they don't, they don't like the grid subdivisions too well. It's very peculiar. I don't know why that is. I mean, we could just put it like that. I mean, the pavement's going to be overlapping a bit, which is the only thing. Unless we have uh, an extra bit of green space just between... Oh, God, come here. Can I, can I put down... There we go, like that. Like I say, a bit fucking janky at times, but... Oh, piss, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Get out of there. Right, just get off that, there we go. Very annoying sometimes, but... Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. Okay, so maybe we, sh we won't go for an entirely symmetrical kind of park area. 
Maybe what we'll do is we'll expand the walls out and just have maybe an extra green space. What do you think? Do we have any other kind of props that would be good for a park, nature-wise, or maybe in the decoration section? Hmm, not much really. We could actually put some public bins though, couldn't we? Because now that I think about it, if you're in a park and you're going to be having your lunch all out here, you need friggin' bins, don't you, really? So let's put one, let's put them on either side of the entrances, I think, like this. Uh, if I increase the grid subdivisions again, like that, so we can get it just lined up perfectly. Oh, careful, put that there. Oh, I've noticed the uh, bins do actually have little litter, litter si littering signs on them. Litter signs, even. God, I can't talk. Okay, right, there we go, there's the bins. They're in there, so people have got, you know, somewhere to actually deposit their rubbish after they've actually eaten their lunch. Looks good, doesn't it? We should put some traffic on the roads as well. We could do. But um, let's actually expand this kind of section out here, because otherwise we're just going to have this big kind of green strip before the road. So we're going to have to be a little creative here, I do think. So if we just swizzle that around like so, hold on, I think I need to decrease grid subdivisions again, but to 25%. There we go, that's better. Uh, that's going to overlap the pavement a little bit, which is less than ideal, but uh, unless we can do something like this, how's that going to look if I move? Oh, I don't know about that, I'm not sure I like that. Um, let's get rid of that. Um, oh, I see, this is the problem with the roads being a little bit janky and strange. Um, hmm. her. <laughs> Don't entirely know about this. Okay, let's get that back out again. Um, how shall we do it? Let's we kind of pull it back a bit to there. Ah, it's going to look a bit weird, but no, I'm not keen on it. Hold on, let me just redesign it. Okay, I just knocked my microphone by accident. Spin that round. You see, sometimes the uh, bars of the old wall do kind of match up, like that there, but not there. That, you know what, yeah, let's mirror that over on the other side, because it doesn't look too bad, does it? So put it there, then mirror it, like so, hold on, let me just, right, yeah, hold on, <laughs> just <laughs> put it there, there we go, yeah, that's aligned, that looks good, doesn't it? And we could maybe just uh, sort of drag it back across like this. Yeah. So you see, it's got the park's, you know, expanded a little bit. It's got an extra little area to it. That's what we're going for here. It's um, going to be quite interesting, I do think. So we can complete this in this episode. That'll be nice. We've made a bit more progress on this map. Okay, there we go. Get rid of that. Get the lamp posts back out again. Uh, they're on decoration, aren't they? There they are. Nice. Uh, let's put those like so. And of course, put them like that. So you see, every uh, town, you know, has to have some good street lighting and all that. Okay. Should we put them on the corner pieces as well? Yeah, I... Nah, I don't think we will. I think it'll be okay. Because um, we'll probably put extra trees in there and they'll probably end up overhanging a little bit. Um, bushy trees, here we go. So let us put... Shall we have a bushy tree overlapping a bushy tree a little bit? Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. And one there. Okay, so one's in the corners. It's going to look freaking fantastic. There we go. Right, trees in. Nice, nice. It's looking lovely. Should we put an extra couple of bins in? Extra public bins, since we've now got, you know, this kind of deal going on here. Let's do it. Oh, careful. Put those there. And one's on the exit, in case you're going out. You know, you need you need plenty of public bins. Because, you know, the amount of people who are going to be coming through here, sitting down, having the lunch, they're going to need somewhere to actually put their uh, various bits and bobs, you know. Okay, um, let's uh, maybe put some hedges down. Kind of in between, like so. Hold on, let me just see if I can... Yeah, there we go. Increase the size of that so it looks better. Nice. Awesome. 
Okay, right, hedges down at the edges, hedges at the edges. What about some bushes, maybe? Because we've not really used these small kind of trees and things. Yeah, they're not very big, but they might be quite nice, mightn't they? If we put them like this in front of these kind of wall posts. Yeah. Lovely. Put them there, like so. Plenty of greenery. Right. Da -da -da. Put them on this side. You know, sometimes I do like symmetry in builds like this. It is good. Have some benches, maybe? Some more kind of seating space? Maybe kind of in between, like so. Yeah. Maybe there as well, or it's a bit close to the tree, actually. I don't think we'll put one in. Put one there, and one there. Nice. One there, one there, and mirror it on the other side. Good. Ah, oh, yes. Now, doesn't that look lovely? Nice little public park. People can come and go. Should I put an extra fountain? Because it's like a smaller one, which doesn't have bushes. Yeah, I could do, couldn't I? Just to uh, get an extra bit of decoration. If I just um, increase the grid subdivisions again, so we can try and get it kind of roughly lined up perfectly. Increase them a bit further. Uh, about there, do you reckon? Or... How's that? It's a bit off-centre. Hold on, let me just try that again. Um, if we get it lined up with that fence post, it'll be alright, won't it? How about there? Oh, God. You can sort of see the seam there where the two blocks meet. Yeah, and that post is lined up. You know what? That'll do me fine, I do think. Nice. Well, there we go, everyone. So... Pretty System now has a uh, big sort of town park slash square to accompany the train station. We've got our first couple of roads in place. What we'll probably also have to do is maybe um, make some proper intersections. Obviously, I don't think you can make roundabouts in this, but you can make intersections. Classic sort of, uh, you know, big junctions. So um, maybe we'll have to kind of put... I don't know. I was thinking maybe put roads kind of on either side of the park, but actually... You know, to form like a square around it. Actually, no, I don't think I'll do that. I think what I might do is create some just some kind of um, more sort of blanker green spaces around them with extra trees, extra bushes, things like that, just to give it that kind of peaceful, serene look. And then, of course, we'll start adding some actual buildings to uh, go along with the station and the clock tower. So, yeah, hope you all enjoyed this episode, then, everyone, of Tracks, the train set game with me, General Red Strategist. I really do love this game. There's not much to it, but it is very enjoyable. And, you know, sometimes you just want something relaxing that you can just, uh, you know, build and build to your heart's content. I like the fact that, you know, it is just basically a complete sandbox. There's no kind of money, anything like that to it. You can just build and build to your heart's content. So, yeah, thank you for joining me then, everybody. If you're not doing this already, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the video description, as always. And if you're also interested in seeing me do anime-related content, go check out my General Red Propagandist channel. Link also down below. If you uh, enjoyed the video, don't, uh, you know, don't forget to leave a like. And, of course, share it with your friends on Facebook, on Twitter whatever uh, pages you may be signed up to. But in the meantime, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, all. Oh, careful. Got it. Okay, everybody, better see the surprise. <laughs> Hello, it's the Robo Pirates. You see, I never understood with this secret area. Are they actually supposed to be the Robot Pirates, except all kind of, like, deactivated? Or are they actually just supposed to be kind of, like, statues? Or cut-out models? <laughs> I always, I don't know, I suspected they're supposed to be the actual, the actual uh, deactivated pirates. Hence why I, uh, you know, pointed out that Robo Pirate technology back there. Of the hoodlums been using scavenged um, pirate technology. Can you actually hear me over the sound of all that treasure being accumulated? I certainly hope so. See, but look, we got freaking gorilla pirates. We got uh, 